everybody, welcome to Gaming On Board. This is the second video from uh, GameStop Pro Day. Um, they do GameStop does carry a lot more board games than they used to. Well, what am I talking about? They never carried any board games. GameStop started selling board games not too long ago. And today only was Pro Day. And if you had a pro membership, you could get 40% off all board and card games. Um, and one of the managers up at my local GameStop... Uh, was nice enough to take 40% off of this uh, already clearance copy of Santorini. So I ended up picking this up for about $14. Um, he only did that because my pro membership was expired and I went ahead and renewed it so I could take advantage of the deal. So he hooked me up. But anyways, um, I put a link at the end of this video to the other game that I got for GameStop Pro Day, which was Rick and Morty Anatomy Park. Um, so be sure to check that out as well. So let's go down to the table and see what you get in this uh, abstract strategy game, Santorini. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is Santorini by Dr. Gordon Hamilton. It just says Gordo Gordon Hamilton there. And uh, yeah, so this one's by Roxley Games and Spin Master. And... For ages eight and up, two to four players, but really, <clears throat> it's a two-player game. So this is actually a city, uh, Santorini, and the buildings actually do look like this. And the theme is you are Greek gods building this city for your people. There's the sides of the box. Good old Roxley Games. They did bring us um, it's that steampunk game, Steampunk Rally really like that game there's a lot going on there <clears throat> so here's the back of the box it's got some quick how to play it really is simple um, tells you all the components <clears throat> excuse me components in this are really great i hear i've never played it or seen it myself um but there's 30 different uh powers 30 different gods in this game so I mean, you could play 15 two-player games, and you will have only played half of the powers. So, yeah. Look at all this stuff. A lot of plastic. So, this is the base of the game. Um, so, you're, you're supposed to be building a top, a big, uh, like island mountain mountain island does it go like that huh i could have sworn it was like a bottom piece yeah i'm going way out of order sorry huh okay it just goes on there like that i could have sworn there was another piece below it like in the other versions i've seen there was like water below it and it wasn't just this mountain. But, oh well. I guess my version doesn't come with the base like the other ones did. Oh, there's all the god powers. And this is in a different language. There you go. So it comes in uh, two languages. I'm not sure what this is. I'm guessing it's Italian. <laughs> there you go, three and four player variants, glossary, credits, all the different, uh, there's the advanced gods and the simple gods, and god power setup, using the powers, how to play, how to win, very simple rule book, and these are supposed to pop right out, I'm kind of bummed because, you know, I saw... A couple of videos on this and there was like a water base and this is just these are not one to come out either by the way okay maybe it was just those two well this is super thick by the way so this is supposed to snap on here okay so there you go there's the uh well, huh. 
I don't know, guys. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Especially since this doesn't snap on here. Okay, well, whatever. There you go. So there's the platform. And uh, that's it. That's your playboard. I mean, that's cool, you know. I mean, it's 3D or whatever. Um, then you get a bunch of these. So these are the bases of level one of the building. Then you get a bunch of level twos, which stack right on top of level one. And guess what? If you thought this bag was level threes, you're correct. Boom. So, a bunch of level ones, a bunch of level twos, a bunch of level threes. You know, it's not much to it. It's pretty plain Jane. There's some steps, no details, just flat, smooth. There's some doors. There's the top. And there is actually one more piece. So this here can go on top there. And what's really cool is if you look like at this game and these buildings, and you go and take a look at a picture of uh, the actual city of Santorini, which I'll put one like right here, you can see it looks pretty dang close. I mean, it looks cool. Especially if you had a whole game with a bunch of these all over the place. And these are all just plastic. Nothing special at all. They're not thick. They're not super thin either. Um, yeah. Not, not much to be said there. And then here's your little builders. Three different colors. In case you want to play a three to four player game. So it looks like you might have one male and one female builder. These have a little bit of detail to them. So there you go. So these guys will be out here moving and building. And uh, if you can get one of your builders to the top of level three, then you've won the game. But the thing is, you can only go one level up at a time. So, you would literally have to be able to build this, this thing here, and then move up, another turn, move up, another turn, move up. But the problem is, your opponent will also be moving and building and could cut you off with one of those little blue uh, top pieces. And then the last thing in the box here is uh, this pack of cards, which should be, is the 30 different god powers so each game you'll have a different power that is specific to you the art's cool i mean it's just cartoon art but it's cool to see all these different greek gods and how they chose to portray them and their powers seem to be all pretty different Look at Zeus. I wonder what he does. Triton. Poseidon. So there you go. That's it. That's everything you get in Santorini. Um, I'm pretty sure some of the versions had a board uh, that went under this that was square like this and was water. So it added another level of depth to the board, but this is what I ended up with. Um, so there you go. Uh, I don't know how to tell you if you were to go out and buy this, if the copy you buy will have that piece. But here, if I looked at the back of the box, it doesn't say it's there anywhere. So I'm not sure what version comes with that base. So sorry. Um, but this is what you'll get if you buy this version. And uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please hit that like and subscribe button. 
Also, leave in the comments uh, any thoughts you have on Santorini. And tell me what your favorite Rocks League game is. Right now, my favorite Rocks League game is Steampunk Rally. And I have a feeling after I play this, it's still going to be Steampunk Rally. <laughs> but anyways, uh, be sure to check us out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We do post there daily. Um, and as always, thank you for watching and play all the games. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video about Santorini. Um, I said I'll put a link to the other game I got during GameStop Pro Day. So that's uh, right here. It's Anatomy Park, Rick and Morty. Awesome show. And um, be sure to subscribe. There's a little circle, like right here. Circle. And then um, here's another pretty good video right here, too. Be sure to check that out. All right? See you next time. Peace.